And we got him still? <laughs> hey, I'll take that all day, every day. What's up, noobs? I'm Greener. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. All right, so today we're going to be playing another Dakin deck. Uh, I promise this, this will be the last one, <laughs> at least for now. And this one is a Dakin Sarah Surfer deck. I climbed uh, a good amount with this deck. I went from like Omega to uh, Galactus, I think, with this deck. So uh, let's just go through the deck really quick. Okay, we have Nova in here because uh, Nova's pretty good in every Surfer deck. You toss out Nova, then you kill it off with a Killmonger later. Buffs up all your stuff. We have Zabu in here. Uh, your four cost cards cost one less. We only have two four cost cards, but I still think it's worth um, to get that Wong and Absorbing Man down to three. Since we're running Dakin, right? On reveal, add a Mirror Master Shard to your hand. You get the Mirror Master Shard. When uh, this is discarded or destroyed, double Dakin's power. Um, so you can kill this off with Killmonger or you can discard it with Culling Wing. On reveal, discard the lowest uh, cost card from your hand. So if you don't draw Killmonger, you can use Culling Wing. If you don't draw Culling Wing, you can use Killmonger. We have Brood in here. On reveal, add two Broodlings to this location with the same power. Um, pretty much a staple in every Surfer deck. Like I said, we have Surfer himself. On reveal, give your other three cost cards plus two power. And we're running six three cost cards. So, uh, I mean, if you don't draw Silver Surfer, you might want to retreat. <laughs> uh, like I said, we have Killmonger to kill off your Nova and your Mermaza Shard. Uh, Dakin to get like a solid 3-8. Or if you um, buff him up with Nova first, get him a little bit higher, then you can discard the shard with Calling Wing. We have Polaris just because she's a solid 3-5 and you know, a little bit of disruption to your opponent, move an opposing one or two cost card to this location. Then even more disruption, we have Spider-Man. On reveal, move to another location and pull an enemy card from here to there. I love this change to Spider-Man, by the way. This feels like what Spider-Man should be, not like what he used to be. And because he's a three cost card now, um, he gets hit with Silver Surfer, which is great. So we have Wong, and uh, hopefully you can get Wong down to three energy instead of four. Ongoing, your on reveal abilities at this location happen twice. So this is really good with getting an extra Mermaster Shard with Dakin and getting an extra proc out of your Silver Surfer. And like I said, if you don't draw Killmonger and you do get Dakin uh, with two shards, you can use Calling Wing here to discard both of them. Then we have Absorbing Man on reveal. If the last card you played has an on reveal, copy its text if it's in play. So this is good at getting another uh, Dakin Shard right? Or you can use it with uh, with Brood, because then you get um, copies of uh, two fives. Or, I mean, if you need to, you can use it as a Polaris or Spider-Man to just uh, move their stuff around. Then, of course, we have Sarah. Ongoing cards in your hand cost one less. And this is great. You want to play around five. Um, if you don't draw Sarah, it's not a big deal. You can still win with just like Brood Surfer stuff. But ideally, you play around five and then you can just play out a bunch of stuff on six. And then hopefully you have Wong on the board. You play out Surfer and all a bunch of other stuff and just surprise your opponent with a bunch of power. Okay, so that's pretty much the deck. Pretty, uh, not, not very hard to play at all. Um, like I said, I had a good time with this deck. And like any Sarah Surfer deck, always seems pretty solid. I don't know if this... Uh, version of Sarah Surfer is better than just like um, a non Dakin version. But hey, Dakin's a new card. I wanted an excuse to play him in another deck. So here we go. By the way, if you're new here, hey, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy, huh? It would mean the world to me. It's just a little itty bitty click for you. Hey, it's free. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, let's chill. Um, yeah, let's chill again. Let's go with Dakin here. Maybe hit him with what? Polaris Nova, or maybe Brute, nah. Let's go Polaris Nova. Did 
Dude, I'm so sick of this new location and all the destroy stuff. Like, I, I'm so over it. Uh, maybe play Sarah here. That's unfortunate. Do we reveal first? Maybe we can hit him with Spider-Man. And we go Brood mid. Play the Mer Master Shard. Z no, wait. I don't have Killmonger, so there's no guarantee I can kill off the Mer Master Shard. So maybe we go Brood. Wait, wait, wait. We go Spider Man. Brood. Zabu. Then we chill. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Okay, I'm going to have to Colleen Wing, then Surfer Absorbing Man. All right, let's see it. That's not good. But not enough? I'll take that all day, man. All right, let's chill here. Elysium is great. I think maybe we go, uh, what do we do? Cause I have Wong too, so I could get an extra Dakin shard. Just play out players for the stats. Cause Jeff moves anyway, so. And then we go Wong. Oh, that's not good. Well, we can still go Dakin and what? Spider-Man. That's kind of, <laughs> that was really annoying. Okay, so we can go Sarah, Colleen Wing, discard both of the Muramasa shards. Oh, it's only going to discard one of them, right? Forgot Wong's over here.
Okay. Well, we can go brood. Surfer. Absorbing man. Right? Cause, yeah, because I don't have any other spaces to play. So I think this is the best bet. Or... Do we want the power over here? So we go brood, surfer absorbing man. Maybe this. And we got him, baby. funny it was like a mirror match almost all right let's chill I mean we can contest the raft pretty easily here let's go Zabu and then hopefully we just hit this with brood and get something good because of Dream Dimension, though, I'm not going to be able to play Sarah, which is uh, not so good. I mean, it's risky because this, this locks up the location, but uh, I think we brood and then next turn maybe Absorbing Man to get another brood. That's actually kind of good. I mean, it gets rid of Zabu, but opens up a spot. I still think we go with uh, another brood here. I mean, we could just Sarah. Is it better to go like Dakin? Or I could go Sarah Apocalypse. I think I like this better. Okay, then maybe we go. Dakin, Colleen Wing. Or am I. Do I just give up on Warrior Falls and I just go Wong, um, Colleen Wing, Surfer? Actually. Wong. No, I can't. I don't have enough mana to do all this. So we go like this. Hopefully this is enough. I mean, that's a pretty solid win. Some good old Wong Surfer action. Uh, let's chill. Oh, I do like Elysium. Uh, okay, let's play Dakin.
I think maybe we pull him out of there. Okay. Not the best. Like, do I want to fill this up with brood already? You know? Well, I think we go with Zabu. I could go brood. But we're really locking this up here. But maybe it won't matter because we have Surfer. Vision, that's tough. It's only turn five. See, the problem is I don't want these spots to get filled with another Muramasa Nova. And I only have one card over here to buff. Maybe we do like this. So at least only one repops. And then I have, you know, enough space mid to uh, play a bunch of stuff. Still play out Wong though. I should have played Wong first. To get the buff for Nova. Alright. Hopefully this is enough. Let's go. I really wish that had to been a three. Well, the only three left is Polaris, but still. They retreated. Okay, I'll take that. All right, let's chill. Ugh, I do not like Vibranium Mines a whole lot. Maybe play Zabu over here. I mean, I'm going to have to play here because of Dark Dimension. And I need my uh, on reveals to go off. I could go Spider-Man. Maybe they play a piece here and I just yoink it out. Then I can do the same thing again with Absorbing Man. Just a troll. So yeah, we could go like this, maybe play Vibranium over here. Do I just dump a Calling Wing just to use the energy? Yeah. I don't have Dakin in hand or anything, so. Then I can go... Nova Killmonger. I need like Brood Mid or something. Oh, Magic, okay. Well. Go like this. I feel like Brood would be the best thing to get perhaps or I mean I guess Polaris would be fine too at this point Sarah would be the worst draw ugh 
Well, I mean, we have Killmonger here, so we can just toss these out. Kali Ming would also discard it, but... All right, let's see it. I don't feel too hot about this one, though. I feel like there's a Spectrum incoming or something. I am Iron Man. That's not great. It's Omega Red. Okay. And we got him still? <laughs> hey, I'll take that all day, every day. Okay, finally like a decent hand. So let's go with Zabu here. I'm going to go with Wong. You've got to be joking me, dude. You've got to be joking me. Oh my God. Okay, I guess we go Sarah. This is so brutal, man. Okay, I'm gonna go Muramasa with Killmonger. And then we're gonna go uh, I'm just going to put Polaris mid for the power. Wait, wait, wait. Put Polaris mid for the power first, then Muramass into Killmonger. Okay. We go Brood, Surfer Absorbing Man. Hopefully this is enough. Looks like a she not deck, but they didn't skip turn six, so hopefully they can't play anything too huge here. They might have a Hulk though. And they retreated. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Uh, let's chill. I don't know what's going on, but like earlier I was drawing Zabu in my opening hand like every single game, and now he's like nowhere to be found. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill again. Oh, there's Zabu. Great. I'm gonna go Polaris on Pit Mansion. Let's go. Nova Brood. So this is Galactus for sure. Let's 
so I play Dakin Culling Wing to um, ensure that they can't just Galactus me. All right. What a call out, huh? See ya. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm not sure if this deck is as consistent as a more traditional Sarah Surfer deck because sometimes trying to um, destroy or discard the Mur Master Shard while using your energy efficiently with Sarah is clunky, but I will say this deck is way more fun than any other Sarah Surfer deck I've played. Um, I really like, like I said, I really like Spider-Man, him being down at two or three. The buff on Absorbing Man felt really strong. And uh, Dakin's just a fun, cool card, man. I, I gotta say, as far as season pass cards go, the last couple, I think, were not so great, in my opinion. Like Phoenix Force, I was not a huge fan of. But um, Dakin feels good. He feels solid. He's not too overpowered, but he's fun. You can build your decks around him. I've seen some people do some crazy stuff where they have, they like copy their shards over and over and get like 60 power Dakins and stuff, you know? But yeah, the deck feels good. I got lucky in a few games because we kept rolling Elysium <laughs> and it's not the featured location. So it just, you know, luck was on my side for a few of those games and it can be for you too. But hey, don't take my word for it. Try the deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. By the way, if you like this video, why don't you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and anyway, GG.